My name is Juan Amir, here with my colleague, uh, Mr. Zairi from FNS Value. I would like to present uh, our solution to a passwordless world. Okay, uh, a little bit of what I'm going to do, present today. We're going to go through some uh, company introduction, and after that, issues with password, and then uh, our uh, flagship solution with the Guardian uh, GCSS or blockchain secure authentication. Okay, our company, uh, FNS Value, was incorporated in the Republic of Korea, uh, and FNS, FNS Malaysia was uh, incorporated in February 2020 is a fully, wholly owned subsidiary of FNS Value Korea. We are operating in Malaysia. Our major uh, task is to find businesses in Malaysia and Asian countries, all right? <coughs> and uh, our mission is to replace all current password authentication with our passwordless uh, blockchain secure authentication solution. We were awarded last year by OIC, Set Global Cybersecurity Award, winner for the winning entries, making the world a safer place. This was awarded by OIC said last year. Before we go on, I'd like to introduce a, a short video on our, our solution. Thank you for your attention. Right now, what happens is that every uh, password, not just, and this is not only easy to hack, but it offers uh, make a poor user experience. You forget your password, you have too many passwords, and you don't know the secret question to your passwords. So life, you know, life will be very, very demanding, you know. If you've got 15 solutions, if you've got banking, 15 digital services, Remember, you have to remember 15 different passwords. Okay, with our solution, uh, passwordless uh, blockchain security authentication, you only need, you don't have to have a password. What we will describe later on by Mr. Zairil on his uh, technology slides is that we will provide a secure, fast, convenient authentication without password. Okay, and you can see, password has opened many, uh, to many surface attacks. Uh, keyloggers, malwares, dump, uh, dumper malwares, uh, all those backdoors implementation to, to actually steal your password. Okay. Some some uh, statistics. This was uh, coming from uh, DBIR, Panamon, and Finance Online. 81 percent of uh, password breaches are caused by poor password. When you have when you have less complex password requirement. It, it makes it easier for the hackers to hack. And 80% hacking incidents are because of stolen and reused password. They actually s steal and reuse your password and share it across the dark net. That's how the community of dark net works, right? Yeah, they make money over your password, then they share it over the network. And then you get hacked again and again and again. 
all right? 33% is uh, malware breach. Okay, these are fraudulent uh, cases where uh, implementation of malware gets into your uh, legacy system and the bank system. And once they get, when they get their user ID password, they will actually share it against the darknet, darknet community again. And 70 percent which is quite high for me, I hacked because of guessing techniques. Right now, there are crawler robots that are actually being programmed to actually try all over the, over the internet, over the web, on user ID password, just to crack your password. So this makes password utilization more irrelevant right now. Okay, some bad password practices. Correspondent has reported, uh, has admitted 62% of the correspondent in the survey says they share their password through email and SMS. Okay, and 40%, 44% password are reused through many digital services. The same password they use for banking, the same password they use for their own corporate portal, the same for their emails. So these are, these are the reports for coming in from uh, these guys. And 31% use their family related information, wife's names, birth dates, anniversary dates, daughter names, daughter birth dates. So it only makes it easy for the hackers when you have bad, bad password practices to hack your password. Some of the, some of the costs when you get breached, this is an average breach cost by IBM. From 2019 to 2021, there's about a 10% increase. And an average breach cost costs millions, okay? So this is not some, some, some short change here. So this is due to the shift of workers working from their corporate network, secure corporate network, to their home network, and this has escalated a lot of security breaches as well. So why are passwordless? Easy, it's a secure. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to remember your passwords without you eliminating the risk of uh, password being hacked. It's less hassle. You don't have to remember anything, and it's reliable. And why? Blockchain. Our solution uses uh, leverages on the public and private blockchain, and our patented solution provides secure, fast, and trustworthy implementation authentication. That will be described by Zaria later. I'm just a sales guy here, doing all the sales for interaction pitch, okay? All right? So I'll pass this to Zaria for his technology. Hold on, you gotta wear this. So from here, you can see GCCS BSA. So GCCS is a, it's the same product, but it's in a different market. So GCCS is a guardian certification, uh, cross certification solution, which is uh, been known in Korea. So once we go out from Korea, we use a different name, which is a BSA. So it stands for blockchain secure authentication. So we provide a next generation blockchain technology. It's a secure, fast, and also convenient. And also we provide a multi-factor authentication. So uh, moving on. Uh, so we're going to look at the technology itself. So when we talk about uh, passwordless solutions, there's a lot of uh, passwordless out there. Passwordless solutions such as uh, few. I, I, I don't want to, <laughs> to, to, to tell which one, but OK. So uh, the, the good part about passwordless is we don't have any password. So uh, the first rule of hacking is a password. We look for password. We, look, we, we brute force. We do everything to get a password to access to a certain uh, web or uh, services. So, for our technology, we have a four core technologies. The first one is a multiple identifier random combination. So we use this uh, to uh, data from the phone, which is the device itself. So your device have a, um, a unique ID, uh, such as a Wi-Fi unique ID, IMA ID. So this all of the device ID. We use it uh, to, do, to, to create the security key. So this security key is a one-time security key, which, which means that once we have uh, used it for authentication, then we will delay. So the next part is once we have created the key, we will use the multilateral distributed verification. So this is where the uh, decentralized verification uh, means that uh, all the users with our product uh, have to register 
So means that they will download our pro our uh, apps and then install it in our uh, mobile phone. So once they registered, we will use the uh, data. There's the two data. One is a user data, and then the second one is a uh, device data. So we don't collect your person data, of course. Uh, we just collect your email and then uh, your user ID and also the uh, phone number. So this will be your unique ID. And then we have uh, your details on uh, uh, device ID. So this device ID will be tied to the uh, your unique ID, your user ID. So once you register with BSA, you will become the nodes. This is how the blockchain works. So you all know about blockchain, right? So this is how the blockchain works. So all the registered nodes, uh, the registered user will become the nodes, and then they will be taking part of the authentication. So once we authenticate, then we go to. Okay, so uh, next, we're going to look at how we authenticate. So uh, normal passwordless solutions, uh, they're using a few uh, like PKI, something like that. So the problem is that you never know how they authenticate because basically it's, a, it's the same everything because they use a central database. The authentication in between the database and the user, something like that. So for us, we will show you how we authenticate the user. So let's say you are the user. OK, so we all in here are part of the BSA. So we all register with the, with the BSA. You are the user, you want to access your company portal. So using a BSA, you just put your uh, user ID uh, in your service portal. And then uh, service portal will send the request to our blockchain. So from this blockchain, as our core technology will uh, will uh, request, uh, sorry, will send the request to your device. So when the, the data is matched, then it will create your OTSK. So once you create the OTSK, it will be passed to the uh, nodes registered in the blockchain. So these nodes will verify the user. It's the same as a consensus method, if you know. So it's almost the same as a, it's the same concept. So once it's verified, then we'll pass back to the can chain. OK, so you can see this uh, step one to five, right? So this is the first factor authentication, which is the, u the device authentication. Because when they check the, when can chain check the data, is data is coming from the device itself. So it's a device authentication using the blockchain technology. And then the second part is a, the second part is uh, user authentication. So we know that you use the device, but we know this is a correct device, but we're still not sure it's the same user, right? It's a correct user. So what we do is that we will request you to verify. So during your registration, we also need you to uh, use your uh, biometric or face recognition, right? So during the authentication also, we require you to verify yourself. So it means that you have registered the, uh, yourself in BSA using uh, fingerprint, uh, biometric. Then during the authentication, you have to verify yourself using the fingerprint. Let's say you change your device or something. Like that. You can just re-register your device and then we go on using the BSA. So once you have verified yourself as a user, then it will be passed back to the engine and the engine will uh, pass to the uh, service portal and the service portal will allow you to okay. Let's say you are a correct one. If you are not the correct one, or let's say you have a clone device or something, the first step of the uh, uh, blockchain authentication will be rejected because we don't allow a multiple device uh, authentication uh, registration uh, on so basically, one user only can use one device. Uh, because we don't want to have uh, issues with uh, cloning device or something like that. So you can see that it's kind of complicated uh, uh, authentication. But we actually promise you that 
from one step one to step five is three seconds. So this is our SLA. We promise every customer is within the three seconds. And then the second factor is because of the user. So you cannot promise that, right? Okay. So let's see uh, some of the demos. Uh, we also provide uh, four types of login. One is a user, uh, user login, user ID. And then second one is a QR code. And then we also have OTP. And the third one, we have uh, offline authentication, which is uh, TOTP. It's a time base. Uh, see the demo. Okay, so next, let's see what we can provide you. So basically, we just uh, authentication product. So you have uh, uh, in your company, uh, you have your own uh, IDP, and then you have your own, oh, let's say you have a PVPN, then you want it to be a passwordless, then we also can integrate. So we make sure that when we design our product, we make sure that we make it as a versatile as it is. Because we want to be able to integrate to each and every technology that we have, that they have out there. So basically, we have a few. You can you, you single sign-on. I think we don't need if you have a, a passwordless solutions, right? Because single sign-on, when you you don't want to key in your password too many times to access the different uh, portal. So we also can do uh, integration or radius or custom application. You have uh, uh, Google. You currently using a Google account. You want to use a BSA also can. Without you can remove the uh, Google Authenticator. Also. Uh, so basically, we 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 we, we uh, can integrate any of the solution. We also provide the during the integration. We also provide a, a standard APIs. Uh, we also can provide you an SDK. Uh, if you need, we can also provide a plugin for any customized uh, integrations. So let's see what advantage that we have. So uh, we don't use a hardware token. You can see there's a few uh, passwordless solution out there that provide you some kind of token or USB token to access. So this is an offline authentication. Uh, this good one, but you have to carry it and then you lose it and then cannot access anything. So uh, we don't use, uh, if you have SSO, you don't need to SSO anymore because you're passwordless. And then uh, the main point is for IT, there's a password maintenance. This is the, 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 the big problem of it, all uh, organization. So without, uh, currently you have a few password policies, uh, three months you need to change and then you have, uh, you cannot use the same password uh, after five times or something like that. So you can avoid that and then you don't have to have a password maintenance. And also we also provide the easy maintenance. We only use an API, yeah, uh, API and then SDK and also you need a custom plugin we can also provide. Uh, we also provide a decentralized verification, the nodes. That's what we're talking about. And then we also use a patented technology. It means that we have a MIRC just now. 
and then we have forty SK and also the MDV. This is all a patented uh, technology uh, from our company. So and then also we provide uh, on cloud solution and also on premise solution. So basically, you can install it in your premise, so you don't need to use a cloud base. But we also provide that. So I think uh, that's all. What we trying to solve is that we're trying to uh, remove all the password uses and we're trying to educate people how bad the password is for current technologies. Everyone have a password, everyone use a repetitive password, everyone has a bad habit they're writing down the password, right? So you don't need to reset your password anymore, you don't need to remember your password, that's why we have to go passwordless. Thank you so much.